Hello everyone and welcome back to this next video. In the previous video we were discussing about the count smaller element problem and I've given you a simple solution for this count smaller element problem by using two loops and I told you uh, this solution is going to take order of n square as the time complexity. Now we needed an algorithm which is having a lower uh, time complexity as compared to this because anything lower than n square may be ex acceptable that can be n log n or that can be order of n. Now in the same series I am introducing you with the next algorithm here and this next algorithm is by using self balancing binary trees and for this purpose specifically here we are using the Avier tree or you can say Adelson, Valesky and Landis tree. This Adelson, Valesky and Landis tree are the scientists who uh, introduced this Avier tree. They are the researchers. Now before we start the discussion here, let me tell you what Avier tree is. Okay. And I hope that you have already studied from the preliminary course what is an Avier tree. If you have already studied that, then you can just skip this part. And you can directly go back uh, to go to a few minutes after this because initially I'm just explaining you what is AVL tree for the people who have not studied AVL tree before. So this AVL tree is called as balanced binary trees. Balanced binary trees. Okay. The main difference is that when we have a binary tree, then it may not be balanced. For example, if we have a numbers like one. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Now, if you want to insert these numbers in a binary tree in this order, that is an increasing order, that binary tree will look something like this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. Okay, it's actually binary search tree, I should say, because a binary search tree should follow the criteria that every left node should be having a less data as compared to this. And right node should be having greater data as compared to the root data. So because every data here is greater, therefore uh, all the data will go into the right node. So this will be make this tree as a right skewed tree. Right skewed tree. Okay. In the same way, we have something called as left left skewed also. For example, if let us say the data is given something like this, which is seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And if you want to insert this data in this order in the binary search tree, then the tree will look something like this. The 7, then 6, then 5, then 4, then 3 and so on. So this tree will become left skewed. Okay. Now to remove this problem of a binary search tree, we introduced the AVL, AVL trees which is actually balanced. And what is the demerit of this problem the demerit is that when we are going to perform some operations on this for example if you want to perform search operation if you want to perform extract operation for extraction also you have to search you have to find the element or you have to insert one more element after this now in some cases or in average case it is going to take order of n time just to do searching on the data now because it is taking order of n time and we created binary search tree so that we can reduce the time complexity for, from order of n. And binary search tree, the best binary search tree takes order of log n as a time complexity to search an element when it is balanced. That is why this problem of binary search tree actually created a problem for us. So we introduced the next concept which is called as the AVL trace or you can say Ellison, Valesky or Landis tree. So this concept is the AVL tree. Now, AVL trees are completely balanced. Now, for this, we use something called as balance factor. Balance factor. So, balance factor can be calculated something like this. Height of left subtree minus height of right subtree. Okay. Or, it can also be calculated something like this. Height of right subtree minus height of left subtree okay for example here if you have a tree like this this is element 1 this is 0 
this is 4, this is 2, and this is 3, this is 5, okay. Now the height of these nodes are 0, this height of this node is 0, height of this node is 0, height of this node, sorry, this node height is not 0, this node is height is 0 and this node height is 0. But for the all the other nodes, we have to find the height. For example, here in this case, the height will be, we are just going to use one formula out of both of them. Let us say we only use this. So if you are using one formula, then you have to use the, one, the same formula for the entire tree. So the height of left subtree here, there is no left subtree, the height of left subtree is 0, but the height of right subtree is 1. So it will be 0 minus 1, which is equal to minus 1. The height of this node will be minus 1 because there is no left subtree. Now here, the height of left subtree is 2, okay, and the right of, height of right subtree is only 1. So it is 2 minus 1, which is equal to 1 only, because height of left subtree minus height of right subtree. In the same way, for this node, height of left subtree is only 1. But the height of right subtree is 1, 2, and 3. So height of right subtree is 3. So the height is minus 2. And so on. So this way we can find the height of a node in a binary search tree. Now, this AB tree says that the height of any node should be greater than minus 2 and it should be less than 2. But it should not cross these limits. Remember here, I am just saying greater, I am not saying greater than or equal to. If I am saying equal to, that means the height of a node should be greater than or equal to minus 1 and should be less than or equal to 1. So height should belong between this range. If the height does not belong at this range, then that node is unbalanced. Now for example here, the height of this node is minus 2. That is why this node is unbalanced. Unbalanced. Okay. But all the other nodes here in this tree, they are balanced they are perfectly balanced but only this node is unbalanced now because this node is unbalanced so we have to do balancing here we have to do balancing and for balancing there are exactly four cases the four core cases which occurs in every tree i'll introduce you to the four core cases number one case when we have left left unbalancing let me just clear the screen and write it clearly for you so the first unbalancing is the left, left unbalancing, okay. The second unbalancing is the left, right unbalancing. The third unbalancing is the right, right unbalancing. And the fourth unbalancing is the right, left unbalancing, right left unbalancing what does unbalancing mean so the first unbalancing is the left left unbalancing that means if you have a node something like this this is 3 this is 2 and this is 1 if this is the node of a binary search tree now if you try to find the balance factors here so balance factor here is 0 the balance factor here is uh, 1 because the height of left subtree minus height of right subtree and the balance factor here is 2. Now, balance factor of this node is not correct. So, this node is not at all balanced. So, we have to make it balanced. Now, to balance this node, we have to rotate this node here. And that will be called as a right rotation. That will be called as a right rotation. After the right rotation, the nodes of the tree will look something like this. 2, 1 and 3. Now try to find the balanced factor of every node. So balance factor of this node is again 0. This is 0 and the balance factor of this node is also 0 because height of left subtree and the height of right subtree are same. So this was the first case when we have left left unbalancing. This is an easy case right. In the same way the second case which is actually I should discuss the third case before the second case because these two cases are easy. So third case, the right right unbalancing is similar, where we have the node something like this, 1, 2, and 3. Now because of this, these nodes are unbalanced. Why? Because the balancing factor of this node is 0, the balance factor of this node is minus 1, and the balance factor of this node is minus 2, height of left subtree minus height of right subtree. Now because this node is unbalanced, therefore to make it balanced, we are going to do the left rotation. 
left rotation why actually the name left left and right right because this uh, is going towards left and these are going towards right okay so we have to do left rotation and because of this left rotation the nodes will look something like this two will come here one will come here and three will come here now all the nodes here they are balanced so the balance factors are zero for every node in this particular case correct this is so easy right so easy sir so easy now the next one is the left right and balancing what does this left right and balancing mean assuming that we have a node here which is 3 we have a node here which is 1 and we have a node here which is 2 again this is a balanced this is a binary search tree right now for this uh, actually binary search tree so for this binary search tree if you find the balance factors now the balance factor of this node is 0 the balance factor of this node is going to be 1 because height of left subtree minus height of right subtree height of left subtree is 0 but height of right subtree is 1 the balance factor of this node is going to be 2 because height of left subtree is 2 that is 1 and 2 and the height of right subtree is 0 so the balance factor for this node is 2 now because the balance factor for this node is 2 that is why this node here it is unbalanced what it is it is unbalanced now because it is unbalanced so to make it balanced we have to perform two operations here two operations are required two operations are required number one this is the left right unbalancing so we have to convert this left right unbalancing sorry so we have to convert this left right and balancing to the left left and balancing how by rotating these two nodes here because if you do a rotation like this it is still perfect why because three two is less than three and one is less than two now this become left left and balancing by rotating these two so first operation is rotation the first operation is rotation that we are going to rotate okay so now it is becoming left left unbalancing again for this you just perform exactly the same operation that you performed here so you make it as a uh, balance tree by rotating it is in the right direction therefore it will look something like this 2 1 and 3 so this is the third case which is the second case which is the left right unbalancing in the same way we have the right left unbalancing how this right left unbalancing will look if you have a balanced, if you have a binary search tree like this, this is a 2 or make it 3, this is 5 and this is 4. If you have a nodes like this, so balance factor is 0, here the balance factor is min 1 and here the balance factor is minus 2. Okay, now this node is unbalanced. So now to solve this problem, we will rotate here like this. We will do this kind of rotation. So after this rotation, this problem will change to a right right unbalancing here. So as you can see right right unbalancing, we are going to use the same operation again. And we will rotate it here in the left rotation. And then this uh, tree will be balanced. So in every data element, we can use this method to balance the tree okay i hope that you understand now let me take the previous data here all the previous data that we have seen so the numbers are 12 1 2 3 0 11 and 4 so 12 1 2 3 0 11 and 4 okay let me explain it it is 12 1 2 3 0 11 and 4 this is the array now what we will do is we'll take every element once and we will create a balanced binary search tree for this okay so take the first element so we'll create an avl tree this node which is completely balanced okay the balance factor is zero then insert the next data next data is one so 12 on the left side we get one so the balance factor here is zero and the balance factor here is one okay so now insert the next element here which is the number 2 so it will be 12 1 
and 2 because 2 is greater than 1 but less than 12. Now you can check this trace unbalanced and what is this unbalancing? This is left right unbalancing. So to convert this, first make it left left by rotating. So we'll get 2 here and 1 here and then rotate this node here. So it will become 2, 1 and 12. Now this became a balanced tree. Now the fourth step is take the next number which is number 3 and we are going to include it. So 2, 1, 12 and we have a number 3 which is here. Now 3 is still balanced because balance factors are 0, 0, 1 and this is minus 1. Okay. Take the next number which is again 0. So insert that number. So th that is step 5. So we have 2, 1, 12, 3 and next 0 will be inserted here. So tree is still balanced. You can calculate the balance factors here. By experience I know the tree is balanced but calculate it. Don't trust me. Okay. So uh, try to calculate it. So next number is 11. So we have the same tree which is 2, 1, 0, 12, 3 and 11 will come here. Now this, this entire segment became unbalanced. Okay, calculate the balance factor in the entire tree. You will see that this node is balanced, this is balanced, this is balanced, this is balanced, but this is balanced, but only this node will not be balanced. So what is this unbalancing? This is left right unbalancing. So convert this left right unbalancing and I'm just doing it in a shortcut because I know uh, the solutions here. So 3 will come here. Uh, sorry, uh, 11 will come here, 3 will come here and 12 will come here. 3 is balanced. Take the next number which is 4 and try to insert it. So this 4 number will come somewhere here and still the tree will be balanced. So this is called as the ABL trees. Now the only difference that we are using in this uh, given question is that in every ABL tree uh, we can count the number of sub tree nodes and it will be stored here. I mean with every node will be storing the number of sub nodes correct 